All right, so today we are testing Starfield's beta to see if there's any performance improvements. I'll be testing two GPUs, the RTX 4070, which is up first, and then the RX 7600 later. The RTX 4070 PC has got a 12700K CPU and DDR4 4000 megahertz memory, and I'm testing with the latest drivers. Now, here you can see there's not that big a difference between beta and retail. I'm just referring to it as a retail, the current version. The beta is actually an opt-in beta that you can just enable in Steam, and you can see we're getting around two frames per second average increase here just waiting for the other one to catch up now at uh, 1440p high I, I select the high preset but i do disable upscaling right so this is a native and now you can see that the performance gains are slightly more noticeable right so we do dip below 60 frames per second even on the beta version here with the rx 4070 but our average frame rate is 66 compared to around 60 so around 10 percent of performance increase over here i just want to note that that uh, the driver version is the same for both so there's no discrepancies between the driver versions it's the exact same system it's literally just the normal steam version versus the beta and you're at a medium preset once again a native resolution you can see that uh, it's not really uh, back to 10 percent again so the results do differ in this specific area i've seen around 10 percent performance increase but other people have reported much higher performance increases in different scenarios. Now, here's the thing, DLSS is now part of the game. It's actually been implemented. You don't need to use a mod for that, for that anymore. So on the right-hand side, we do use the DLSS mod, but you can see now that there's quite a big uh, difference in performance, right? Around 10 frames per second, just with the, the DLSS set to quality or 67% render resolution. All right, so then next up, we've got the frame generation results. I did not test with the DLSS frame generation mod in the previous version, just because I had many issues with it. Now it's uh, natively supported in the game, and you can see we're gaining around 50% uh, performance increase. Oh, you don't call it performance, so you'll get shouted at, but your frame rate is 50% higher, right? We were getting around 80, now we're getting around 120. Just one thing, there seems to be a V-Sync limit implemented when frame generation is enabled in this game. All right, so let's move on to the RX 7600. I just wanted to see if AMD also saw some performance increases here. And to my surprise, we actually saw around 10% performance improvement on the AMD systems as well. So it's not just that NVIDIA got a performance increase here. It's not that big a deal. I mean, you're going from 46 frames per second to 51 frames per second. But any performance gain in this game is actually appreciated. Now, if we just drop this down to high, you'll see that we are almost hitting 60 frames per second continuously with the beta, whereas the retail is continuously stuck below 60 frames per second. It's not a constant 60 frames per second, as you can see there, that it does drop below 60 still at times. But if you just implement uh, FSR here, even FSR quality is enough to get us a pretty decent frame rate. We'll be testing FSR just now. But you can see that once again, we're sitting with around 10% performance increase. Uh, the same at uh, the medium preset, not really much to write home about. The performance gains are now slightly lower than 10%, but we still got around five frames per second performance increase here. Now, just so you are aware, some areas do have better performance increases as I referred to earlier. This is just my benchmark setting that I use. And uh, in this specific scene, we saw anything from five to 15% depending on the GPU. Right now that we've enabled FSRIA, you can see that there's actually a bigger performance increase around 10 frames per second or so, slightly higher than 10%. This is pretty similar what we saw with the DLSS. It just seems that everything just seems to run a little bit better. Right, this is just a very short video. I just wanted to show you guys the differences between the two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.